Option is probably my uh, my favorite feature in Rust, and that is what we are going to learn today. Uh, option is uh, it's an enum, and if you go to the uh, the documentation, you can uh, see uh, here it is <clears throat> standard option option, and this is uh, this is what it is. And uh, now that we know uh, we understand generics and uh, we understand enums, we know what this is. Uh, pub just means uh, public, and it means anybody can access it, so you don't really have to think about pub right now. But um, it says uh, option T, and uh, it has uh, these two, two possibilities. One is none, and one is some. And uh, we'll look at that in a second, but first I will show, um, show you an example of where, where option is so, uh, so useful. <clears throat> and uh, we'll do this by making a, uh, a function called uh, take fifth, and uh, inside we're going to give it a, uh, a vec with i32s, and it is going to give one of them back. And then <clears throat> this is all we do. We take value, and the uh, the fourth uh, index, which is the fifth item in the in the vec. And then we say let new vec equals vec, and then we'll say let uh, index equals take fifth, and we'll put new vec inside there. And you can probably imagine what's going to happen. There are only two items here, so it is going to panic. And there you go. Thread main panic that index out of bounds. The length is two, but the index is four. And panic is uh, it's uh, it's different from an exception. Rust uh, you will usually panic, and panic just means uh, it's like Rust goes into uh, it's like you walk into a room and then you see uh, you know I, I don't want to walk into this room, and you close the door and you leave before uh, before anything happens. And that's kind of what panic is. It just says uh, I'm I don't know what to do. I'm going to stop here, and then it takes the uh, takes the values off the stack, it, uh, it unwinds, and it, uh, it shuts down the program. So it's kind of, uh, the name is kind of funny, it's called panic, but it's more, it's much more orderly than, a, than an actual panic. You know, like a panic in real life. So anyway, uh, so what we should do here is instead of uh, an i32, we will give a option i32. So option means, Maybe there's something, maybe there's not. And it gives you the choice of what to do when there's something and what to do when there's not. And so we will change this to say, uh, if value.len is uh, less than five, because we need a minimum of five length, then, uh, then we'll return none, which is this thing here. Let's uh, make that visible again. So none means uh, we will return option none, option none. And because option is used so much, you just write none. It's automatically uh, imported. Else, then we will return a sum. And sum has a T. And that's where you put the, uh, the thing that you're returning. So we will return the, uh, the index that we wanted to return. So. Uh, sum and then value four. So now we can take uh, take new vec. So we will keep that. And then we also, uh, let's make a bigger vec. Bigger vec. And uh, this vec will be, how many items we'll put in five? <clears throat> two, one, two, three, four, five. So that will be big enough. And now we are going to print is out. So do that, do that, and then we'll do a take fifth on uh, on new vec, and also take fifth on uh, bigger vec, and then see what we get. Let's see what's going on here. Doesn't implement debug. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, right. 
that's the problem. <laughs> there we go. So we have, um, yeah, that's what we got. None and some. So uh, this now it's not uh, it's not panicking anymore. It's just saying uh, when you do this, you get a, a none, and then when uh, you know, here you get a sum. But uh, we don't have the uh, the value yet. So we're getting this uh, this enum back, but we actually want the five. So uh, one way to do that is um, I'll show you one way to do that. It's this um, slightly well can be usually dangerous thing. It's called unwrap. Unwrap is um. It's kind of like uh, you imagine you have a, a present, you, uh, you, you get the thing inside it and uh, you don't know what it is until you open it up. And uh, when you unwrap, it'll take out the value, the thing that's inside here. And if you unwrap on a sum, then you get the thing inside it. And if you unwrap on a none, you get a panic. So that's why unwrap can be you know, slightly risky. Um, but you know, it's super convenient when you're first uh, first writing your code and you don't care if it crashes because uh, you know you're not the end user so you can see there we uh, we unwrapped on uh, on this sum and then if we unwrap over here then that will be bad and there you go you get a panic again so that is one way to do it uh, and then in the next video I'm going to show uh, some better ways to do it